A mechanical component's life expectancy is modelled by the probability density function um, given by f of t is equal to zero when time is less than one year and f of t is equal to four on t to the power of five uh, when t is greater than a year. So we're asked to calculate uh, firstly the probability that a component's time to failure is within this range and secondly we're asked to calculate the median life expectancy of this component. So to start this off, I'm actually going to try and sketch the probability um, d density function. So we can write it as like a piecewise function with f of t. And it has like two pieces. So one of them is that f of t is 0. And that was for when t is less than 1. And the other part is this, when t is greater than uh, 1. So if we sketch this, So t on the x-axis and f of t, our probability, uh, on the y-axis. So up until t is 1, we're just going to end up with a value of 0. So I'll mark that in. So that's where 1 occurs. And then we have to plot this equation for t is greater than 1. And I think it looks something like this, roughly. All right, so... If this is our probability density function, part A is asking us for the probability that our component's time to failure is between 1.2 and 1.8 years. So if we mark that in our diagram, it's going to be about, say, here for 1.2, and I'll go with here for 1.8. So essentially what we need to figure out is the area inside this um, section, all right, because that's the probability that we're looking for. So. We can do this by using integrals, since it's basically just looking at the area under the curve. So our probability that we're looking for is going to be the integral evaluated from these bounds of 1.2 to 1.8. Um, and then we just have to take the equation that describes this line, which is 4 over t to the power of 5, and integrate it with respect to our variable, which is time. Okay, so once we've figured that out, whatever the number is corresponds to the area or the probability um, in this context um, of that happening. So let's go through and actually perform the integral. So we can make this easier for ourselves by putting this power up to the top line. So the bounds remain the same and we can write this as the 4 out the front. This becomes t to the negative 5 when we flip it up. And now we should be able to just use the... Oops, just use the power rule um, in order to integrate. So the constant stays out the front. We add 1 to the power, which would make it go to negative 4, and divide by the new power, which is negative 4. And I'll carry these bounds across, so 1.2 to 1.8. And then we can rewrite this a little bit nicer. So it's like 4 divided by 4, so that's going to cancel out. And I can put this back on the bottom line if I want to make it positive. Um, so essentially it's like going to be negative 1 since we have the negative out the front, uh, t to the power of 4. So if we now substitute our bounds into the equation, remember we start with the higher one first, and then we minus away the lower one. So that was meant to be a power of 4 in there. So if you pop all of this into a calculator, uh, you end up with 0 0.387 approximately falling out. And if we convert that to a decimal, it's going to be about 38.7%. Okay, So what that's telling us is that there's a 38.7% chance that our component is going to fail between 1.2 and 1.8 years, corresponding again to the area inside this part of the curve. All right, so now let's have a look at part B. So we're asked to calculate here the median life expectancy of the mechanical component, and we're given a hint on how to do that. So median life expectancy by definition is going to be when there's a 50% chance that the component is still working and a 50% chance that it has failed. So how I'm going to approach this is I'm going to redraw our diagram, and we should be able to look at um, the area within the curve where 50% of the components are working and 50% are not working. Okay. So coming down here, um, we'll call it part B. So just redrawing that sketch that we had to help us out. So it was zero for the first part, and then we had that curve. All right, so 
if we look at this curve, as we move across it, all right, what we're going to be looking for is the point where we've got 50% of the area picked up. So here we're obviously not going to pick up anything, but through this part, we need 50% of the area. So let's say it's at this point here, which I'll call capital T. All right, that's going to be my median life expectancy that I'm looking for. So that means that 50% of the area under the curve is sitting here. All right, and if I put that into decimal form, it's going to be 0 0.5. That also means that this um, other part of the curve is going to be 50% of the area. So what I can say is that 0 0.5 is going to be equal to the integral or the area under the curve between 1 and this t value that I'm trying to find. All right, and this curve uh, was defined by the equation uh, 4 over t to the 5 and we're integrating with respect to the time variable. Now equally, I could have set this up as being equal to the integral from t all the way up until t is equal to infinity, all right? And that should also be equal to 0 0.5, but I'm gonna go with this one. So what I need to do is go through and actually integrate this. Now we're gonna find that this is the same as what we had above, all right? And when we integrated, um, it was here, four on t to the power of five, we were able to simplify it to look like this, so negative one on t to the four. So I'm just gonna copy that expression across. And our bounds are different this time though. It's gonna go from one to capital T. So again, we need to substitute into this. So the big uh, bound first, minus uh, the small bound. So this becomes a one to the power of four. So now it's just a case of rearranging to get the capital T out on its own because that's the median life expectancy we're looking for. So I should be able to write the second term on the right hand side a little bit nicer. So this is going to end up being negative 1 divided by 1 to the power of 4 is 1. So we've got negative 1 in this bracket and then we're going to end up with a double negative uh, from the one out the front. So overall this is going to become plus 1. I'm going to move this to the left hand side so it becomes positive and at the same time I'll move this to the right so 1 minus 0 0.5 is going to be 0.5. I then want to get probably the t on the top line so if I multiply it up and at the same time I'll divide by a half which is the same as multiplying by 2 so I'm going to get 2 is equal to t to the 4. So t on its own it's going to be like the fourth root of 2. And if you type that into a calculator, it's about 1.19 and the units are going to be years. So that's our answer. So what that's saying is that looking at our graph, up until t is equal to this is 1.19, 50% of the components will have failed, meaning that 50% are still working. And then um, past this, all right, you're passing over the median mark. So that means that more than 50% are going to have failed. So that's all there is um, in terms of this uh, video and I'll see you in another one.